We are Wedge Group Galvanisers who have been going since 1850, based in the Midlands. We now have 14 sites nationwide from Devon up to Scotland. Galvanising is a process uh, for corrosion protection of steelwork to stop it going rusting by putting a coating of zinc on the surface of the steelwork. Galvanising is a good solution for sustainability and cost effectiveness. A raw piece of steel would corrode very rapidly, whereas a galvanised piece of steel would outlive that two or three times. It lasts 25 years plus in a marine environment, it can last 50 years and more in a rural environment. Also, galvanised coating is 100% coated inside and outside. For example, on a tubular product, you don't get that with a paint finish. The new plant here is a £6 million investment in state-of-the-art equipment. It's going to be a flagship for the whole group. We had certain restrictions imposed on us at the old plant. Because it was a residential area, we couldn't work after a certain time, whereas with a new plant we can work 24-7. So that's just great for both ourselves and the customers. We can expand at this plant, it's a bigger facility. We'll also be able to take on more people, which is good for employment in the area. And we're looking to the long term. The galvanising process starts with the steelwork arriving at the plant, and then we have to load it onto various types of jigs to suspend the work, ready to go through the pre-treatment process. We then go off to the degrease, where it will spend a certain amount of time in the degrease solution. We will then go through a rinse tank after the degrease um, to wash the degrease solution off in any oils so we don't contaminate any acids. The work then goes into the pickling stage, hydrochloric acid at 12%. It then goes into another water rinse to take off the iron salts. It's then immersed in a bath of heated zinc ammonium chloride. This helps to stop the work oxidising and it also will make sure we get a uniform coating when the steel is immersed in molten zinc. Prior to galvanising we go through uh, a dryer to preheat the work and then we actually go to the galvanising bath which contains molten zinc. We dip the steel work into the molten zinc that's at about 450 degrees centigrade and that's where the galvanising takes place. It's literally only in the bath for a relatively short period of time, really a few minutes, and then the zinc alloys itself to the steel. It becomes a permanent bonded coating. We then draw the steel work out of the bath. We then transfer it to another tank, which is a quench, which helps to retain the brightness and keep it bright and shiny. After that, we take it out of the line, cut the work down, stack it in the yard outside, delivered back to the customer. It's important for a new plant to use environmentally sound technology to lessen its impact on the environment as a whole. Every company has a duty to be as environmentally sound as possible. Certain industries have to uh, apply and obtain an environmental permit for safe operation. The permit involves up-to-date technologies to try and lessen their impact on the environment as much as possible. The new plant was designed to incorporate a lot more environmental aspects and energy efficient measures. One of the main environmentally sustainable features of the site is the ability to capture any rain that falls on the site, both on the roof and on the ground. It prevents it leaving the site so any contaminated water is kept on site and can be reused within the process. We've also got energy saving measures. For example, we've got a recirculating dryer where none of the waste heat is pumped to atmosphere, it's all kept inside the dryer. And also we use heat exchangers and inverters where possible to keep the energy levels down. Wedge Group Galvanising stands out for its competition because we deliver when we say we're going to deliver. We're consistent, we give a high quality product, we're very cost competitive and we're extremely customer focused. And we're constantly striving to provide excellent customer service. And we've got a constant dialogue with our customers. We're asking them what our strengths and weaknesses are. We know where we're going right, so we maintain that, but where they feel we might be going a little awry, we can improve on that. At the end of the day, then, we can offer them a fantastic customer service. Mm -hmm.